Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be putting Trappist 1 and all of its planets in the orbit of Jupiter in our solar system so this could get pretty interesting and the commenter actually commented this so many many thanks for your idea it's a cool idea so I thought I'd pick it and put it into a video because yeah it's a pretty cool idea like never actually tried this either so yeah pretty cool stuff but now let's go into our good old solar system simulation here Obviously my custom one, because my custom one is awesome. So yeah, there we go. So we want to head to Jupiter here. So there we are. So now we want to, um, yeah, there's Jupiter. So we want to get Trappist 1 like so. So yeah, where is it? Okay, Trappist 1 like that. We're going to put it right here. So pretty much right in where Jupiter's orbit is. Then we're going to delete Jupiter. So now we should have Trappist 1. Now where are its planets at? Are they, did they spawn or not? Okay, they didn't spawn, so we're going to have to add it manually, I believe. So, let's slow down the time. Like that. Now we want to hit add planets to star. So, we should have a bunch of them now. So, it doesn't add all of them, sadly, but we'll just manually add some more in. So, we got, yeah, B, C, and then there should be, yeah, a few more. So, we'll just go and add, yeah, we'll just add them in manually. So, so it has seven planets. So, there's already three here. So, we go, let's go one, uh two three and let's go four like that so we've got all seven planets in orbit yeah for some reason it doesn't or when you hit add planets to start it doesn't spawn all of the planets in it only spawns three of them so it was before the um 2017 discovery of the trappist one because we already knew about the star it's just we found more planets around it so yeah pretty cool stuff there anyways let's um head into this so as we can see we now have our trappist one in the solar system like this so yeah, all those guys should be in orbit. So now if we hit play, there we go. So we've got the Trappist-1 solar system in our solar system, replacing where Jupiter would normally be. So the largest planet is now Saturn, which is pretty good. So let's get a quick comparison here. So Trappist-1 is slightly larger than Saturn, as we can see here. Then we've got all of the um, ice giants here. Then we've got all of the Trappist planets. And then we've got Earth. So yeah, Earth is not very large compared to these guys. It's a similar size, but they are slightly larger. Only by a few hundred kilometers, actually. And we've got Venus, and then all the other guys. So, pretty good stuff. Now, what we're going to do is... These planets out here should be colonizable as well, since the sun doesn't really affect them from this distance. So, yeah, Trappist-1 could warm these guys up, and they could be livable. Like, we could live here. Yeah, 116. If we add an atmosphere and increase its albedo a bit, we could, we could live here. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. But now, let's speed this up. Let's see what havoc will happen. So... Oh, the Trappist-1 system is travelling through space, it looks like, so... So it looks like it's pulling towards the sun, I want to say. So it's a bit similar to um, the previous, uh, one of the previous videos where we combined... Or where we at through Trappist-1 solar system into the solar system. So if it does a similar outcome, we will press auto-orbit, so it could make a binary orbit with the sun instead of crashing into it. So let's see what it will do here. So it may not crash in, it may just fly by and not really affect anything, so... Yeah, that looks like what it's doing, so... Yeah, it's just flying by. So, there we go, there's Trappist-1. So, if we just speed this up, I'm assuming it's just going to fly out the solar system, I'm guessing, so... Okay, some of the, it looks like the orbit there of Hygieia was altered a bit, though, so... Yeah, this um, asteroid here did look like it was altered, but now it looks like that Trappist-1 is just leaving the solar system. So, yeah, that's that. So, not really not really the best outcome. I thought, I thought we'd have something different to that, so... Yeah, it looks like it's leaving, but just a check, we'll let it run a little bit more. And also, guys, many, many thanks to everyone who subscribed recently. Much, much appreciated. You guys are awesome. And, yeah, hopefully we can get to 1,000 before September, because, yeah, that, that'd be awesome. So, yeah, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Should be pretty fun. But, anyways, yeah, there we go. So, now it's passing Uranus here. And I'm just going to say it's gone. So, we're going to reload this. I'm going to add it in again. So, let's go to Jupiter here. So, we're going to go in here and type in Trappist again as so, so put Trappist 1 right in the position there pretty much inside it, so delete Jupiter now we're going to add our planets back and then add four random um, four random ones so, oh, where are the orbits at? well, it's going to weird uh, like that, there we go so let's just quickly add one there so that's one, so then two, three, and four like that, so we've got four um, well, all seven now of the planets orbiting. I know it's not accurate, but the planets don't really make any difference. So now we're going to press auto orbit on Trappist 1. So it should give us a different outcome to 
um, or to the previous outcome. So yeah, there we go. So let's slow the time down. Uh, so so a few hours now. Hit play. So we should have a different outcome this time. So should we? Think, oh wow, this one's getting torn up. I'm guessing I put it too close to the star. But oh well. Let's make it a bit of a ring system there. But it looks like yeah, it looks like it may do a binary orbit with the sun. So we should have a different outcome, which would be good. So let's check this out. Wait, is it? No, it looks like it's just traveling auto, not, not zero velocity, auto orbit. Well, what the heck? Okay, I don't know what happened there, but forget about those guys, because they wouldn't really affect much anyway, so... Wow, they got launched out really fast. Well, how'd that even happen? <laughs> oh, well, let's get rid of them. So, yeah, Trappist, so I'm replacing Jupiter now. Also, it's pulling objects on the asteroid belt out of the asteroid belt, so we will go and add the asteroid belt in itself as well, just to see if it would make any difference. So, asteroid belt, let's go and add that in around the sun there, so if you can't see it, I'll put it on flashlight mode, so yeah, you can see them now. So let's see if it affects any of these objects here. So it looks like it is actually, yeah, it's pulling some of the asteroid belt towards it, because obviously 83 times more mass than Jupiter, that's probably going to pull a lot more objects on the asteroid belt around, so yeah, looking good. But is it going to, it looks like it's, um, keep, the inner solar system still seems intact, but the asteroid belt on the other hand, yeah, it does, isn't doing too good. As we can see, Trappist 1 is really causing some big issues for these objects here. It's pulling a lot of them in and basically making a mark on the asteroid belt. So you can see it's pulling out different parts of it here. And sadly, we can't run the simulation any faster, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, so we'll check the orbits here. So, oh, they have changed a bit. Planet 9 has changed. Sedna's not even orbiting anymore. Saturn's orbit looks like to so have changed a bit. Uranus and Neptune seem, yeah, their orbits have changed. So... Yeah, Trappist 1 is causing an effect for our planets here, so yeah, that's not too good. But now we can see there is a lot of objects, or yeah, it's kind of hard, but you can see if you just faintly look there, just if I pause it here, I'll put the background on, um, where is it? Um, look, no, not that one. Um, where's the solid black one? Yeah, there we go. You can see the little dots there of where the asteroids are, just so. Yeah, so it has caused a lot of trouble with um, these um, little um, asteroids from the asteroid belt here, so. Yeah, that's not good. But it looks like it's still like the, the inner solar system seems okay, I want to say. Because it, this could um, affect the asteroids in a way that some of them could be launched at the inner planets, but it won't be anything crazy because the asteroid belt asteroids, you've got to remember, Ceres is the largest, and, and a lot more of these asteroids are very, very small. As you can see, 3.31 centimeters on this one here, so. Oh, they're all 3.31. Okay, that may not be accurate, but yeah, these asteroids aren't very large in general, so even if they were to go to Earth, they would probably just break up in the atmosphere and not affect us at all, so yeah, I think we should be safe from these things, because these asteroids probably aren't too big, but you've got to remember stuff like Pallas here, 234 kilometers, Vesta's 252, I believe Ceres is 383 according to this. It may be glitched though because sometimes when you when you save objects in the simulation, they're, they're, um, the size of them changes slightly. So yeah, something around this number. Let's actually check it though. Ceres, let's see if it's correct. Like that. Ceres. 476. Okay, so yeah, that's wrong. But yeah, it's just because it's a save simulation. So I can't really do anything about that, sadly. But yeah, just pretend that's 476. <laughs> Yeah, these guys are probably wrong as well, but yeah, there's something around that number. So, yeah, there you are. So, yeah, don't think anything would really affect Earth, hopefully, anyway. But yeah, as we can see, Trappist 1 has pulled the asteroid Hygieia in, which isn't too good. So, yeah, there we go. So we can see it has got some of those asteroids I previously mentioned. So now, let's get rid of the asteroids. Now let's see what mayhem will happen once we let it speed up a bit. So as we can see, the whole um, solar system is very unstable now, but it looks like... Earth should be okay because you've got to remember the sun's gravity is a lot stronger here than Trappist 1 is, and because Trappist 1 is also further away than the sun is. Yeah, Trappist 1 has no power over Earth, I want to say, so I think Earth is good. But Mars, on the other hand, may have a different experience. I know Mars looks good as well, actually. Okay, so looking good. So the end of solar system seems completely okay, if you ask me. And we've got some of these asteroids out here, which are also orbs in Trappist 1. And remember, this is from Jupiter's distance, so the, yeah, the sun is definitely closer than um, the, um, or the sun is definitely closer to the inner planets than the Trappist 1 is. But Vesta, in the asteroid belt here, a little further away than Mars, is getting affected by the orbits of Trappist 1. Where did Ceres go? Wait, is Ceres here? Oh, there it is. Now, so Ceres has got a very peculiar object now, as we can see. 
it is now getting closer to the sun than Mercury, I want to say. Oh no, no, it's slightly not, but very, very close to Mercury's orbit, as we can see here. So, we may be able to actually see Mercury in the night sky, maybe? Can we see it? So, there, there's Ceres. You can just about see Mercury as a little white dot there, if you can just about spot it. Actually, to make it easier for you guys, I will... Wait, is it on... It's on view, I believe, and then icons. Is that it? So that should now we should see. Where are they? We should see them. Icons. That's what it's meant to do. Um. What the heck? Okay, so series. Oh, there we go. So now you can see them. It's just because we were too close. But yeah, so you can see the objects now as we zoom out. So there, you can see their little dots. So yeah, looking good. I like the dots like that. So there we go. Looking good. Very, very nice. Alright, so, anyways, it looks like, to conclude this, I want to say that if Trappist 1 was in the orbit of Jupiter, it wouldn't affect the inner solar system, it doesn't look like. Well, the Ceres and the asteroid about definitely got affected, but Earth, on the other hand, seems to be doing just fine. And we've got Venus as well, just doing normal, and Mercury as well. Those guys seem to be doing okay, so it looks like. Trappist 1 would have no effect over us if it was Jupiter. So, if Jupiter was a brown dwarf star, for instance, it probably wouldn't have much of an effect on Earth, since it doesn't really have a high luminosity or mass. But if it was something like the mass of the Sun, or two suns, that would definitely cause a lot more issues. Because, obviously, the gravity would um, basically meddle or mess up with the Sun's gravity, and... Yeah, I don't think Earth would survive very long. It would either get thrown out of the solar system or it would get too hot or too cold or, yeah, anything could happen. But it looks like if Trappist was here, with only a mass of 83.8 Jupiters, we'd be completely fine. It would look slightly different in the night sky if we want to have a quick look here. So, we'll land in the North Pole here, or America, I should say, or Canada, I don't know whereabouts this is. But, yeah, if we land here and we look up, we should see... Because uh, there's the sun. So, where is Trappist? Put the icon or labels on, I should say. So we've got Neptune over there, Ceres, some of those guys. Where's Trappist 1? And so Trappist 1 is just down there, so we're going to have to slow this down just so we can see it a little easier. So, yeah, there, there it is. So Trappist 1 is very, very small from the, from the distance of Jupiter. As we can see, we can see Mercury just there as well. Mercury's right there. So it's about looking, comparing Trappist 1 to Mercury's size there. It literally looks the same size as Mercury. That is just how small Trappist 1 and Jupiter really are. Because remember, Jupiter would appear at a similar size to Trappist since they are similar sizes. But yeah, Venus, you can't even see it for some reason. That's pretty weird. But yeah, so yeah, Trappist 1 doesn't seem to have any effect on Earth whatsoever. So yeah, it's pretty interesting now. I thought it would have an effect, honestly. But yeah, there we go. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure if you did, leave a like, subscribe for more. If you've got any video ideas, feel free to leave them down below. I may just feature it in a video like I did with this one. So yeah, many thanks to the guy who commented this idea. Pretty good stuff. So yeah, to conclude, Trappist 1, would, if it was in or if Jupiter was replaced by Trappist 1, doesn't seem like the inner solar system would be affected since the orbits are barely changed. It doesn't even look like Earth's orbit's changed at all. That is just how minor this um, object is really affecting the solar system. So yeah, there we go. So, pretty good stuff. So make sure you guys all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.